Hello everyone, my silver play button, or supposedly so, arrived a few days ago and I thought I'd do a short unpacking video. And now as always we go into the side view, which is quite common on this channel, to give you a perfect view on the subject. So, let's move up a bit here. And as always we start at the flank. Now in the center. And yes, I can confirm it is YouTube on it. Oh my god, that's quite big for the packing. Let's look inside. Oh, here's the letter. Right. Let's take a look at this layer. So nice. Yeah, that's really cool. Military history. Congratulations for surpassing 100,000 subscribers. YouTube. Uh, you see yourself. Yeah. And why is the military history and not military history visualized? Well, um, there was a length regulation and I think it was only four characters more. So military history with, well, I went with military history. So now let's take a look at the letter. You've just done something very few YouTube creators accomplish. You had an astonishing 100,000 people subscribe to your channel. Each and every person who has subscribed to your channel was touched by what you did. They were inspired to invade another country. Oh, oh no, I got it wrong. They were inspired or challenged or entertained. Yeah, you know, old habits die slowly. Now I think it's time for a big thank you to everyone. I originally planned also to name a few people personally. Once the list hit a few dozen people, I realized I couldn't do justice to everyone, so I think you probably know who you are. And if you're interested, let's take a short look at my office. So now we're in the classical first person mode. And this is basically my office and also bedroom and living room. This is where I live right now. Um, the stuff on the walls is not mine. Also, most of the furniture isn't mine. The desk is mine, the computer is mine, and most of the equipment, and also the silver play button over there. So here you can see my two monitor setup. On the right side, there's PowerPoint running. Where I make the design, on the left, there's the script. Usually, I write the script beforehand, and then I switch back to PowerPoint and write the stuff. Originally, I used one monitor, and I copy-pasted everything over to get the icons right and everything. Here's my clicker which I use for recording everything because I switch to the next slide. And here is my trusty stopwatch. With this thing I measure everything because what gets measured gets controlled. And this is my timer which I use if I cook something or something so I can go back to my office and don't have to spend time in the kitchen or somewhere else. Here's of course my microphone and here's some padding for soundproofing but that's not really useful in this setup right now. I brought it back from Hamburg where it was a little bit more useful. Here are all the books from the library and the bottom four I can finally return now because, well, you will see later. Here's my stash of German military history from 1648 to 1939. So this is basically the origin story for that one over there, which covers the Second World War. 
So there's also some pre-production merchandise, which I tested out some stuff if it looks good enough. Here's some more books. My bad, obviously. A silver play button. And here that's um, the Deutsche Reich and the Zweite Weltkrieg on the left side, but Germany at the Second World War. Then in the middle there is the Cambridge History of the First World War. And I'll write this Cambridge History of the Second World War. You're probably gonna ask why two book sets about the Second World War. Well, that on the left is more in detail, but it's also a little bit old. It started in late 1970s and the latest books are from around 2005, I think. So the problem is that some stuff may be dated and the Cambridge history of the Second World War is from 2015. This one where I hold my camera in the completely wrong position. So, <laughs> but this is a after commentary, so I was a bit exhausted yesterday, sorry guys. Since those books were mostly financed by Patreon donations, a big thank you to my Patreons here. You guys allow me to spend more time on content and less time worrying about YouTube changes or running around in libraries. So this makes my everyday easier and in many ways improves my content in the short and in the long run. As always, thanks for watching and see you next time.